guys, so if you read my blog, you know I have a lot of markers. I already have a system set up to store my Copics, but I have Prismacolor, Mexby, and Shinhan Twin Touch markers that I need to store. Originally, I was using these cases from Utrecht, which I got on sale for $3.99, which is kind of like the best deal I'd ever seen for um, marker cases. And they have 24 slots in them, but unfortunately, I don't know if you can see that, for it to close, it like pushes the markers apart. So I wanted something a little bit better. And also I wanted something that could hold and keep organized my, my different collections. So I ended up ordering this art bin from um, Amazon because it was on sale. I want to say it was like 13 bucks. And the additional tray, because it comes with one tray, the additional tray was $5.99, which is <laughs> such a great deal. And I've apparently pushed it out of place. Uh, <laughs> whoops but I thought that if it could store my markers and I this is um as I try to fix this this is a vertical storage so what I'm going to actually do is stand it up on the hinge edge end because your markers should be stored horizontally especially twin tip markers otherwise it's gonna lead to an uneven distribution of ink and it might lead you to think your markers are dry when they've just been improperly stored <laughs> If you ever get a marker, um, if you ever order a marker online and it seems dry, um, it could be dry or it could have just been improperly stored. Either case, they should probably replace it for you. So I guess this is a good time for me to show. I'm not going to take this, this one out because I am afraid I'll never get it back in because I'm having a really hard time getting the, the other one in. It's got these sliding white pegs, and it, they only go in in one orientation, which is this. And it's got like a little shelf on the bottom to get it to click, there, so to cl that you click to get it to stay in place. But I can't do that, so I'm going to go enlist the help of an adult. I'll be right back. All right, so my adult pushed it into place. It seemed to take some force from my adult's part. So if you have weak baby hands like mine, or arthritis, or you, you just have trouble with these kind of things, you're gonna need someone else to help you. Anyway, once that's done, it's supposed to slide into these guides on either side. So I have two sections, and I can remove this if I want to. I haven't yet decided if I want to. So um, let's find out what this baby will hold. Here we have Prismacolor markers. I've already sorted them out the way I personally like to sort them. And what's nice about this is that it's supposed to be able to hold 64 markers, I think, in each. Yeah, 64 markers in each. That's a lot of markers. Especially if you're just using it to hold and organize, like, a second collection. So there's my Prismacolors. Now for the Mexby markers. Ah, okay. So it actually can't hold 64 because they won't go where the, the these things, the, I don't know what the clips, where the clips are. So um, technically it holds 60 markers in each container. So 120 markers. Oh, oh okay. All right. I'd let someone borrow these and they're a little out of order, but not a lot out of order. And it doesn't hold the markers it's, uh, particularly snug. Um, the, the square markers are a little snugger. So if you have um, a Copic original collection that you want to store, this would be a good option for you, especially considering it was fairly affordable, especially compared to other marker storage units they can sometimes get expensive and um where the track this thing like where this thing here is supposed to go it is raised so it's going to push your markers up a little bit all right so still got plenty of space i'm gonna 
remove my um, Shinhan Twin Touch markers from the storage they're currently in and get back to you guys. Alright, so all my Shinhan Twin Touch markers are removed from the storage drawers that I had them in and I really didn't like those storage drawers so I am very excited to be able to slide over to something a little bit better. Um, when I collect markers, other than for testing purposes, it's to um, fill in the holes that the Copic family has. Um, and in general, Copic does a really good job of not having too many holes, but I still, there's still some colors it doesn't do as well as it could, or some colors that I have had trouble getting a hold of. So I'm going to sort these by color family, um, and just kind of roughly. As you can see they fit pretty well into this and I'm trying to keep um, a, like a slot in between the markers and we'll see how well that works I might regret that and end up redoing it so um, what are your favorite brands of markers to use and um, what's your favorite storage system for your markers? Hmm. See, I might regret this, but maybe not. This might actually work okay. watch my video reviews, of which there are a few, but not too many. If you watch my video reviews, you might notice that I don't actually have, um, I don't have my Dick Blake markers out, and that's because they are mixed in with my Copics, because I want to make sure I use them. I really like them. I really like Shinhan Twin Touch too. I try to pull them out. That's why they live on my desk is so that I'll remember that I have them. Hmm. Kind of like this system and I kind of don't like this system that I set up. Cuz I have all these blues that I need to find a home for now. Right, nothing more exciting than watching somebody organize their markers while talking to you, huh? Back in the day when I reviewed Shinhan, uh, they were a lot cheaper than Copic markers. And now they're almost the same price because so many people like them. Okay, and it looks like I'll even be able to store it the correct way without it falling, um, them falling out, which is exciting. I'll have to show you guys pictures. And um, I'm working on uh, getting my desk reorganized to better facilitate me using markers. So I could even like remove the top from this, which probably isn't a good idea, but it wouldn't be like hanging out all over the place like it's doing now. Um, yeah, I'm excited about this. <laughs> so, so far, so good. So far, I am enjoying my art bin marker storage satchel. Um, and I'll hopefully be able to post pictures for you guys later on when my my studio is rearranged, reorganized, and uh, I can get to work again. So um, thank you for watching. Bye, guys.